Hello everyone and welcome back. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Capricorn for the week of August 14th through the 20th of 2023. And at this time, I would like to give a very special thank you to all of you who have been subscribing to my channel, as well as those who have watched my videos and give them thumbs up, letting me know that you enjoyed them and watched them. Thank you for doing that. And your first card out is the Five of Cups. That's all right. You're going to spend a little bit of time looking back at your past a little bit. A few things that you've had to surrender and give up. But it's okay, you know. It may be a little bit uncomfortable. And this could be you looking at some, you know, um, relationships in your life that has disappointed a few of you a little bit. But that's okay. And if you're in school or study, it could be... For some of you, you know, you didn't quite get the marks that you needed for an exam or a test. You know, some something, you know, some sort of dream didn't quite pan out the way you had anticipated or seen it. But that's all right, because you're going to pick up the cups behind you and start moving in a different direction for yourself. Nine of Swords, there you are, all up in your head, worried, stressing out, sleepless nights. You know, nothing's that bad that you can't fix in life. And if it's not fixable with, uh, if it's people, then it's not meant to. And it's okay, you know, sometimes we say things, people take it different ways. Maybe we meant it different ways. Maybe it was said to you, that sort of thing. But you're realizing that it's okay. It's not fatal. And you can keep moving forward. And the High Priestess. So look at you. You're making some pretty big strides and movements for yourself this week. In different areas. You know, you're looking at a lot of things. You're having a lot of thoughts of the past. This week for, you know, for many of you, maybe you've talked to somebody or heard from somebody and that's what set this in motion for you, you know, and you're just all up in your head or maybe you've ran into somebody that you haven't seen for a long time or somebody has gotten a hold of you and maybe asked you some questions about the family, what you know, that sort of thing. Maybe you've never really shared or... You know what it is, but I don't think you've ever spoken about it. And this might be the week that somebody has gotten a hold of you for whatever reasons. And a few topics have come up, obviously, for you. And you're not quite sure if you want to say anything or not. For many of you. Yeah. And the Page of Pentacles. But there's an opportunity here for you. You know, it's knocking at the door. It's giving you that second chance on many things in your life. Now, whether that's that discussion or a new job, you know, there's something that's starting fresh again. So you're trying to clear the air, moving forward. The Queen of Pentacles, so there you are. You know, you're good at what you do you like to have money in the bank you don't like to have to question yourself or you know if i spend three dollars am i gonna you know get it back sort of thing you're very thrifty you look for the best bargains and that might be what you're doing maybe you're trying to purchase something this week or have and you want to make sure that you got the best deal and the hermit so taking the time out for yourself for sure. You know, maybe just you've been so busy and frazzled and, you know, running all over the place trying to do a lot of things that you have worn yourself down now with all this stress and worry and things and you're realizing that after all of it's settled and the dust has cleared that it's time to take a little bit of time for yourself, rest and relaxation and just find a happy medium for yourself and the king of swords yeah you are flooded with so many 
ideas this week. You know, you're just if there's something that you need to get done, you know, to get going, you're just dealing with the problems, you're moving objects out of your way, you're finding that you're, you know, got a lot of solutions to a lot of problems that you feel you have. And so you're setting this record straight, you're fixing stuff up and you're moving more into your own comfort zone. And the lovers, ah, a rekindling of a relationship for some of you. Maybe there's going to be an engagement, a marriage, a remarriage. You know, but there is a, a career here as well for a lot of you. Something that you really like to do. You know, something that you're good at and it comes natural to you and you enjoy it and it, it just makes you feel good. So, because I know when you work, you do work hard. You, you know, and it's not you're trying to prove it to anybody or show anybody. It's just what you do. You are a very hard worker and you put your head down and get done what needs to be done. And you don't stop until it's finished. And the Six of Swords. So you're thinking of making a move. You know, packing up your bag and baggage. And literally moving to a more calmer shores for yourself. Maybe there's been a lot of turbulence where you're at. This could be in a job as well. It doesn't always have to be in a relationship. Maybe where you're working, you're realizing that it's not giving you what you know you're worth. And perhaps you've asked them or talked to them about getting a raise and they're saying, well, you know, at this time, you know, we've spent all we can spend, that sort of thing. And so you're looking around because in this day and age, you know, there's lots of jobs on the table out there. Now you want to find one that's going to pay you what you know you're worth. So you may have gotten an offer somewhere else and... You know, they're assisting you. They're going to make sure that when you move there, that not only are you going to get a higher rate of pay and it's going to move you up, you know, in the status level, that you don't have to worry so much about where your money's going and how much is left, that sort of thing. So you're really considering it. And you may probably take this offer up, it looks like. And the Queen of Swords. So yeah, you are clearing the air. You've got some dealings that you want to get done and you are definitely this week very much in your courage zone like you're you have so much vigor going forward you know you're very skilled like I said you read a lot you'll study a lot and you if there's a problem you'll face it you know you'll, you'll stand there you'll own it and and you'll make sure that it gets fixed ah Perfect. And the magician, you know, you have so much ambition this week and you're so focused on what you want. So that's really nice to see, you know, you're realizing that the potential that you have and you don't feel like it's being utilized. So you're might even be you know, starting something for yourself, a side business that's going to take take off like wildfire. So, you know, you're clearing the slate and you are got clear intentions of what you want to bring in. And this is the week that you're going to take them steps and, and make sure that it starts moving. And the Nine of Pentacles, so look at you. Money is definitely coming in. This could be a windfall for some of you, but it's a very lucky card. You know, there's money there, your independence is there, you're happy, you're stable, you know, you're alone once in a while, but you're not really lonely. You find things to occupy yourself and, and work away at it. And the Queen of Cups, most definitely. You know, there's so much intuition here that you're following this week. You're understanding that, you know, uh, family means more to you for some of you than you actually thought maybe you thought you just you know didn't have to worry about it or tried to ignore it but this is the week that you're understanding that you want things in your life and family to just flow harmonious 
and and you're you're going to make it happen so you're it looks like a quite a big move for some of you here you know you're really looking into the possibility of it and because of jobs for many of you because it's going to pay you more and we're all about making the money this year i'll tell you for anybody i've talked to so you're probably no different all right <laughs> Yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your pa positive expectations. So there you are. Perfect. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you again next week. And bye for now.